Hi everybody, it's Janet Dow with Fun Stampers Journey, also known as Create a Fun Journey. Today we're going to be making this really cute little bag. You can use this little bag for Easter, but you can also use it as for baby gifts because it's the perfect size for you to use it for anything. And then I'm showing you how to make the bag. So you can also use this bag for Christmas gifts or birthday gifts or any other kind of gifts. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, what I want to show you is about the center piece of it, the little bunny. Okay, um, I'm going to show you a couple of the pieces, but then I'm going to show you just a little bit about our coloring system, the Fun Stampers Journey coloring system, okay? Um, first of all, what I want to show you is the Spring Fling, the stamp set. Um, I use a little paper clip thing here to hold them together so that I do have the Spring Fling die and the Spring Fling stamping set. Um, this cute little bunny, I've used both of the bunnies for several different projects and cards because they're so cute. Um, you can buy just the stamp set or you can buy just the die set if you want. But if you buy it in a bundle, then you save 15% on them. And this is what I used for this particular bag. Okay. Also, what I want to show you is what I think is so cute on here is the circle and how the circle is perforated. That is our journey circles. It's the die um, cut and you also have pieces that are you also have circles that are that are cut out but then you also have circles that have the perforated um, in the circles and I think that is so cool so then you don't have to go out and poke the holes all by yourself um, they have it in the um, in the die cuts here so I, I just love this about Fun Stampers Journey um, we also have here we have the Spring Parade. Um, what you see on this little piece right here is the little tulips that's in the Spring Parade collection. It's six by six. This is not a 12 by 12 um, pieces of printed paper. You get 24 double-sided sheets in here, so there are quite a few of these. The thing of it is with this Spring Parade is it is in the spring catalog so it will be ending at the end of March this month so you if you really like this you're going to want to get it right away um, before it's gone okay I just wanted to let you know about that um, so let's get started with on the coloring system what I did is I, you just take a black any old clear black um, and then what I use is the Fusion Blender. And the Fusion Blender, and I also use the um, Bubblegum Reinker. Um, it does not take much of this. Um, all I do is I take it and I put just a drop on there. Because we're not going to use a very big space um, to color with. I have used so much of this and I've not used hardly any of it and I've used it on several pieces. A little bit goes a long way. Um, the bubble gum, all I'm going to use on this bubble gum is seriously use a drop. Um, because like I said, the space, it's not a very big space of what we're going to be coloring with. Uh, most of the time I might use a drop or two when I'm coloring. Um, then we're going to also use the medium blending brush. You can get small, medium, or large. I mainly use the medium. Sometimes I use the small. I've not used the large. Um, I have not done large enough pieces to use the large brush. Um, it also has an area here that you can put your Journey Fusion in it. Um, I only fit pit excuse me, I only put a few drops in it. Um, I don't want to put a whole lot in here because then it just sits in here. So I only put a little bit, a tiny bit at a time. So what we're going to do 
is you're going to take your your reinker and some people only use just the reinker but I don't like it to be really dark so I just kind of mix it a little bit and I test it on my paper just to make sure it's going to be the consistency that I want. If you use too much of the reinker um, or too much of the fusion blender, I'm sorry, what happens is is it will um, it'll get really like a pool of it and that doesn't work either. So um, you just want to use very little of it and then you just um, color with it. Um, when you do use this coloring system, you're definitely going to want to not just put it on a regular um, black ink. You're going to want to do a um, heating embossing of your piece. Um, and that's so that it stays in it and it doesn't end up um, leaking all over or um, making it uh, blurry, um, as they say. So. Um, and then you just color with it and what I like about this more than I like about the markers is it gives it more of a smooth um, coloring to it instead of sometimes with markers it has a beginning and an end to it so if you stop um, it doesn't make it so smooth and then you just um, color with this and I just I love it I'm I'm I like the way it feels um, it kind of feels like um, really silky um, so there's oils in it that makes it feel a little bit um, silky um, with it so and if you want it darker you just go over it um, again and when you go over it it darkens it up um, for you so you just go over it a couple of times um, and it will dark darken it. If you want to really shadow it, you can use a little bit of a darker reinker on it and then just play with the coloring on it and it is very cool. I will have another video again to show us a little bit more about the reinkers um, and how you use them. But um, just make sure you just dot out your brush a little bit because sometimes it pools up in here and you don't want that So because then it will have too much of your Fusion Blender on it. But that's it. That's There you, you have it. Your bunny is all colored and it, it didn't take hardly any time at all to do it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this aside to dry a little bit um, and we're going to get started on our bag. Okay. So what you're going to use is you're going to use two pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock or um, printed paper. I'm sorry about that. Um, and when you do it, you're going to, which I already pre-scored it because it, it goes faster that way. But at the top of your bag, you're going to want to um, score it at two inches. Now, when you put it in your score, you're not going to put it in your score this way. This is going to be my top. Um, you end up putting it in this way. So kind of make sure that your top is going over to your left, depending on your score, though. But my score, I score it this way, so my top will go to the left so that when I take it out, it ends up being at the top. Because you're going to score it at the top of it, sorry, will be at two inches. So you're going to score it two inches for your top. Then you're going to score it at three inches. Turn it again. Three inches. Turn it again. And three inches again. So it will be two at the top, three all the way around. And you're going to do that with both sides of, or both of your printed papers. Okay, so I did it to both. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take what is going to be your top and you're going to fold it over on the score piece just like that um, then and I'm folding it over because this is going to be my outside of the bag this will be my inside so when I fold it over I'm going to have a little bit of the inside come out like that so that's what it's going to look like on the outside of my bag um, then what you're going to do is, because you want to fold all of them, you're going to fold it in this way, because that's going to be your sides. And then you're going to fold it again 
on all of your sides of your printed paper. You're going to do this to both of your printed papers. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to seal the top to the bottom here. I am just going to take our journey um, tape here and I'm just going to tape it really quickly on both sides here and I'm going to do it along the top. Some people use glue, some people use the um, the white liner, journey white liner to seal it. Uh, today I'm just going to use the tape and it will be fine. Um, you're going to do this to both sides, but to both of the papers. I went ahead and did both papers um, to save on time, so I did it ahead of time. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start cutting, okay? Um, you take your scissors to just one piece. We're only going to do this to one piece. Um, and you have a little square at the bottom on both sides. Well, one of the pieces, what you're going to do is you're going to cut from this outer edge here, and you're going to cut to the square line. Okay, that's all you're going to do with that piece. You're going to go to this other piece, do the same thing. Cut to the outer edge, to your score line there. Okay? Then what you're going to do, I'm going to make sure I got that all the way to the end. I did not. See the lighting here? It's hard to see this in the lighting. So I just got to do a little bit more. Make sure. Yep. Yep. Perfect. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece and we're going to set it aside. Then we're going to take our other piece. In our other piece, we're going to, it has the two boxes on both sides we're going to cut those boxes out on that side because what is going to happen is we're going to fit one into the other okay cut this like this and this one like this just like that okay oops okay then we're going to take this and you're going to take a piece and what I have is I have um, whipped cream, Journey. it's Journey's whipped cream cardstock. You're going to cut a piece of three by six and that three by six piece is going to fit in the bottom here. That's going to be the bottom of your bag. It's going to make your bag stronger by doing that. Um, I went ahead and I taped mine. I did tape mine with a white liner um, ahead of time. I did tape it with that because I want it to be more secure since it's going to be the, on the bottom of it. So I'm just going to pull these off and um, secure it to the bottom of the bag. Um, I did tape both sides of this bag, um, as, or both sides of the bottom. But the piece that I pulled off right here, I'm just going to fit it right in the middle, just like that, of your bottom piece. It fits right in there. If it ends up being just a little bit bigger, it's okay. It's at the bottom of it. It's inside, actually. You're not even going to see it. If it's too big, go ahead and take your snips and cut it off just a little bit, okay? So then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and put one inside the other fit it right together so what you're going to do is you're going to flip this over so that this is the inside of your bag and you're going to fit one inside and it fits right in there perfectly in here just like this there we go like that okay so i'm going to flip this over because the piece that i have all all um that I've got taped here. I'm just going to take this off. <clears throat> and I'll take these apart just like this. And then I'm going to turn it around and fit it right in. <coughs> Sorry about that. I got a little tickle. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to go take care of a little tickle I had. 
Okay, now both pieces are together here like this. We've taped them on each together. So it's going to end up folding up like this. See? See how the bag is starting to come together? So now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over. Okay? Then we're going to take our tape and you're going to tape both sides here. Okay? Then I'm going to tape the other side. Because then what we're going to do is I'm going to flip this over like this and I'm going to fit this inside of here just like this. Okay, and I'm going to do it to the other side too. Put this around. Whoops, I'm coming apart here. And I'm going to flip this one right inside here like that. Okay. Then what we're going to do is you're going to have this flip up like this. So you're going to want to tape both sides here. So, and I'm doing this ahead of time. You tape it ahead of time because if you don't tape it ahead of time, then you're going to run into a problem of, um, it'll be partly together and it you won't be able to tape it that well. And then you just fit, fold this right into here. Just like that. Oops, it's not perfect. There we go. Like that, and then you fold this one down into here, just like that. There we go. Now we're, on, we're getting to the home stretch here of your bag. <clears throat> me. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put the holes in it so that we can put our ribbon on it. Um, I'm more of a person that just eyeballs things. Um, so I, you can use a hole puncher, but I'm using this. Um, it, it's got the perfect hole for me to be able to put my ribbon through. Um, I go down maybe an inch. I go to the end of the bag maybe an inch and a half. It's going to depend on what you want. Some people like theirs closer to the edge. Some people like their ribbon closer together. Um, and then I just poke my hole. And then I do it the same way to the other side. Um, you if you mess it up a little bit, you're not going to even notice it um, unless you're way off and you have one way over here and the other one, you know, over here. You won't notice it, um, to tell you the truth, when you put it together. You're going to turn it around. You're going to do it again to the other side. Like I said, I'm an eyeballer, so I just go approximately here and then I do it again on the other side. Um, like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your ribbon. I'm using the bubblegum ribbon from Fun Stamper's Journey. It's the satin ribbon. I just think it's so pretty. Um, and I cut my ends. I cut this approximately 14 inches. Um, I don't want it real long. I don't want it really short. So um, to me, I, it, it's going to depend on what you want it to be. But um, I did it about 14 inches. And so I'll cut both ends in a little angle. I'm going to slide it into my bag. I'm going to take this and make a little knot here um, on the end. Just like a little quick little knot here. Um, if your ends are just a little bit long, then you just trim them. And then I'm going to take it and put it in the other side of the hole like that and I leave enough room so I can tie my little knot and then if it's too big again and and I never get it perfect so I always get it a little bit long on the ends and I just trim it and you're gonna do both sides of your bag like that and then after this all you do is you just put the little bunny on and you're done um, 
it's a quick, easy, cute little bag. It's something that instead of going to the store and um, spending, you know, $3.99, $4.99, whatever it is for bags nowadays, um, it's something quick and easy. You can use any of your um, paper that you have at home. It's really nice to um, grab two pieces of your printed paper, whatever you have at home, and make a bag up and grab some ribbon and make a bag up and, and voila, you know, you have it in a pinch. Um, instead of going to spend the money on it, you got your little bag. So there we have it. There, there we have a little bag here. Um, then what we're going to do is I'm going to take the, my, our little bunny. He's nice and dry now. I'm going to put tape on the back of it and just put this on and he's all done just like that now you can add a little bit more of a little heart to it um, we do have these little um, a sparkle of elements you can put on there um, I you can put it on with a glue dot or I don't have a glue dot on me so I'm just gonna throw just a tiny bit of little tape on there and I'm going to put that element right there. Now the Sparkle Love Elements, um, you can get these free. It's a bloom benefit. Um, you can get them free when you spend $50. So that's a nice little um, bonus that you get when you spend $50 with them. Um, so here's our little bag, nice and cute. I'd like to thank you for joining me today. And um, I hope to see you again soon. Bye.